All right, so in this video, we're checking out the RC Gun Power SMU X 1507 Plus 2680 kV motors, and it says the M2 system on here, as you can see, labeled on the box. It's a different kind of motor here. It's got a, a two millimeter shaft here, and most of these sort of motors come with a 1.5 millimeter shaft, and I think a lot of people don't like that. They prefer the two millimeter shaft, but there is a problem when you have a two millimeter shaft most of the props with the T-style mounting come with a one and a half millimeter hole. And they have some tools here that they have sent along that will convert those one and a half millimeter holes to two millimeter holes so that they'll work with this motor. And so I'll show you that here, how to do that here in a little bit, but let's take a look at the motor first. So uh, in addition to the uh, two millimeter shaft here, you have a uh, prop nut here. So you can either use the T-style mount uh, with the M2 screws to mount the prop, or you can mount it uh, via this prop nut here. And this is a locking prop nut, and they, they do include a tool for tightening this down as well. So just quickly taking a look at the motor, it's a bit hard to see the windings. Um, it does look like they have curved individual magnets here on the inside. Windings are a pretty thick gauge of copper wire there. And the motor is fairly notchy. It's not super notchy, but it's fairly notchy. You have a uh, pretty nice looking C-clip on the bottom there. It's very flush. So it looks like it's gonna be very difficult to remove and replace. M2 mounting screws here, but this is a tw um, 12 millimeter mounting pattern, pretty standard for 15 size motor, but this is Bit bigger at 1507. 2680 kV is pretty low. Um, you could use this on a wide variety of props. I think like a three inch would be pretty typical. You can run that on 6S, probably as low as 3S, depending on what kind of power you want. So, not sure what I'm going to be using this on. I'm thinking maybe some sort of a Cinewhoop or some other three inch build. Let me know in the comments below what you think would be appropriate for the size of motor 1507 size. Uh, at this KV. So you have a wide variety of uh, props and voltages you could choose from. And you can see here, this belt is pretty solid, really thick, thicker than the magnets there. So I think this is, this, this feels like a fairly hefty motor. I think it's gonna be pretty heavy and uh, it's probably gonna be fairly sturdy. So usually more mass means it'll hold up better in crashes. But here's what the motor weighs with the wire the full length of wire here. And it's coming at 18.1 grams. So yeah, it's definitely going to be for a heavier build. All right, so moving on to converting your one and a half millimeter shaft props to two millimeter shaft props. Comes with a drill bit for converting it to a two millimeter hole. You're going to uh, need these parts here, these three pieces here and then the two, it comes with these two M2 screws as well and this little plate where the M2 screws go into and you want the divot here to be on the other side where the screws come out where the, you see the long end of the screws here not the screw heads so you don't want there's no divot on this side here and that's because when you end up drilling the hole this um, uh, drill bit's going to end up into that piece of metal right there so first thing you want to start off is, is this piece right here. You're going to want to take this other piece here and put it on this through this hole on this side. And you can see that this is basically a uh, two millimeter hole here, two millimeter shaft here on the bottom part. And this part here is a one and a half millimeter shaft. So you can see here, it's two millimeters on the bottom and one and a half millimeters up top. Stick that in first, and then you're going to mount the prop to that one and a half millimeter shaft, and then you want to line up the screw holes for the prop with the screw holes that are in this little metal piece. And then you're going to take our top part here, make sure that lines up. Screw that in. 
All right, so it should look like this now. And then now the prop is securely mounted to this little metal piece here. That's going to be your uh, drill bit guide. And then we, now we can just pull this out. It's going to come out. Now we can put the drill bit in here and it should just go right in. And then you can kind of hear the plastic grinding away as you twist. You probably want to pull this out once in a while here and get rid of the shavings. If you don't get rid of the shavings, they'll get kind of clogged up. It'll be harder to twist. All right, I think that's good. And then we should be able to just go ahead and unscrew the prop from this holder. All right. And now we have a nice, clean two millimeter hole. And it ought to just fit right over the two millimeter shaft on the motor here. So you can see on the top here, we have either option to use an M2 screw here on these holes for these two holes here, or you can use these divots here to, to um, go into the M2 or the two millimeter holes on the side to hold it down so it doesn't twist while you put the lock nut on. So I'm gonna actually do that um, since we have the lock nut there. Might as well go ahead and use it. And you can see it's gonna sit down nice like that and it's not gonna twist. And I put the lock nut on and then they give you this other tool here basically uh, for cinching down the lock nut. You can just hand tighten it you know, like that. But if you want to really tighten it down, you can put a screwdriver or something through here to get extra leverage if you want. But uh, I find that it's totally unnecessary. You can see a nice prop on here now with this little smaller nut. So it's a two millimeter M2 or a two millimeter prop shaft here with a two millimeter nut that ought to hold that prop on pretty good. So yeah, let me know what you guys want to see this on in a future build. I haven't decided yet, but if you have any suggestions, let me know down in the comments. Talk to you guys in the next one.